smile for the camera, Frankie. <laughs> Wow, which color do I want to wear today? We got big checks, little checks, medium checks, and some worn old faded checks. <laughs> That's my checklist. <laughs> I got my venison here in the sun, thawing out. This is backstrap for lunch tomorrow, and this is burger for the uh, meatloaf this evening. Ah, the sun ought to do a fine job of getting that thawed out. Or I could put it in the microwave if I had one on the defrost cycle. <laughs> doesn't know it yet but I picked him up a little bouncy ball wait till he sees this <laughs> you want to play bouncy ball okay back up get ready back up some more This is his favorite game in the whole wide world. <laughs> Don't pop it. <laughs> Bottle opener. <laughs> this is my last moose rule. I gotta get somebody to send me some more moose drool. <laughs> I've been saving them. I only have one occasionally. I gotta get somebody to send me some more moose drool. <laughs> oh, I'm having too good of a day, man. The fire's burning good. The venison's almost all thawed out. Frankie's having fun. It's been good. I just texted my son who lives out in Idaho and he's at work. Uh, and I was busting his nuts because <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> Come on, Frankie. Damn, motor collies non stop. Uh, you know, I have a lot of folks, lots and lots of folks, to write to me and they tell me that I'm living their dream, you know. And I can guarantee you that probably 99% of those people already make way more money than is required to live my lifestyle. It's all in how you structure your life, man. People can live their dreams if they want to. They just need to structure their life to do it and work in that direction. Like I said in my Life of Chasing Dreams video, you gotta work in the direction of your dreams, but everybody works in the opposite direction. You know, they're chasing the wages, chase the wages. You make the most money in the city, so then they gotta live near the city or in the city to commute to work. And then the cost of living is so much more. So the more money they make, it seems the faster they go through it, the living expenses, and they never get ahead. They dig themselves in and dig themselves deeper and deeper and deeper and they can't get out. You know, not me, man. This is the type of life that I want to live and I'm going to live it. You know, it's a Wednesday today, I think, maybe Thursday. It's hard to keep track now. The last day that I went to work on a scheduled job was September 14th. 2004. Our archery season in New Hampshire opened on September 15th and I quit my job the day before 
and I've never been back to work. I scratch out a living in many, many different ways, but the lifestyle I live barely costs any money. So I'm gonna, I'm cooking some venison today. I'm gonna throw toys for Frankie, and I'm just gonna suck it up. <laughs> Holy moly. Really going at it. Wow, that's like really deep. Man, can you imagine being able to excavate out a tree like that with nothing more than just your head banging away? Da, 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 da. <laughs> Unbelievable. That's the pileated woodpecker that's doing that. He's called the pileated in this pile he made it <laughs> wow you see it shows how good just a little bit of wood shavings and what a good insulator it is it's just amazing how good of an insulator that sawdust and shavings is that's why the old timers back in the day used it to insulate their ice houses and i'm going to build an ice house for the cabin and I'm going to uh, insulate it with sawdust as well because I have plenty of sawdust and it's free. And you've heard me say that I like free. That's just it. I, gotta, I wanna live as cheap as possible. The less money I have to spend means the less money I have to make, which means the less I have to go and earn. And that leaves me more fun. Lessons from a border collie. Have more fun. It's all about the fun. <laughs> There's all kinds of little ant tunnels deep inside the trunk. And it's pretty amazing that the woodpecker could hear them that far inside the tree. Huh? I guess he worked for his supper. Boy, nature's pretty fascinating. It really is. I hear another woodpecker rattling off in the distance, but that's not the pileated. They're doing a lot of drumming right now, marking their territory for their uh, spring mating, you know? Yeah, and then there's another one further. You hear that? There's one there. Then another one will answer. Right there. Huh? Yeah. There. Drumming back and forth. It's the time of year, man. Love is in the air.